Well, with all due respect, I want to ask you something. The question is, can you ever become a very French speaker <clears throat> without the boundaries, without the limits? You see, people have been cracking the UPSC in a span of a moment and different tough exams of our country in a span of a moment like this. But when it comes to English, we feel, okay, leave it. It's not my piece of cake. It's not that easy to learn English, to become a very fluent speaker like others. Let me tell you, there is a way to become a very fluent speaker. But you need to change something in your life. The change of your mindset. You have to repair your mindset. You have to change your mindset. Lock, stuck and barrel. Completely. Mindset we are talking about. Let us go to the United States of America. Say for example you are in New York or you are in Washington DC. And you are having a talk with the Yankees, with the Americans. May I ask you a question? Which language will you use to speak with Americans? Hindi, Bengali, Tamil, Urdu, or it's English? Well, if the answer is English, then my dear friend, you know very well your English is not strong, it's very bad, it's worse, it's pathetic, but still, will you speak English? If you speak English, then my dear friend, you know very well that no matter what, I speak wrong English, I speak bad English, I have to speak English. <clears throat> there your mindset goes. Always have this strong idea, no matter what, you have to speak English. You speak wrong English, you speak English. You speak bad English, you speak English. You speak pathetic English, you speak English. Allow yourselves to make mistakes. At the very beginning, don't try to prove yourself. No, I have to become a very fluent speaker, an efficient speaker, an accurate speaker. Don't try to do that. Make mistakes, rectify yourself. Make mistakes, rectify yourselves. So while you are rectifying yourself, your mistakes are going down and down and down, and you rectify yourself more and more and more. This is how you improve your English. Start watching different flicks in English, different movies, different web series, different podcasts in English. If you go on YouTube, you will get a hell of a lot of videos in English. So when you're watching a lot of videos, make sure you have a doubt, like, you know, you must have habit that I turn on the subtitles. Okay. So for example, you were watching a video, you're turning on the subtitles. You understand? You get to or you, 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 you encounter some unknown words. You know them down and again rewatch the damn video again after some time without subtitles. So watch the video in English with subtitles, then again try to rewatch the same damn video without subtitles. See whether your mind can remember the words, unknown words that were unknown to you or not. If you feel okay, I understand the entire video without subtitles, that's fine. Or else, again watch the same video with subtitles, then again repeat the same thing without subtitles. This is how you prove yourself. I'm telling you one fact. No one under the sun can speak English thinking in Hindi. Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Gujarati or Bengali or any other language you speak in can never help you out. To speak English, you always ha have been, you know, you know, just translating the facts. You're thinking in your mother tongue, you think in Hindi, you think in Bengali, you think in Tamil, you think in Gujarati, and you translate that into English. And that is called mother tongue influence. Your mother tongue is influencing English. As a result of it, you are thinking in Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Gujarati, Bengali, and you translate those things into English. My dear friends, remember one thing, English and your mother tongue, both are not couple. You know, they are not married, they are not living each other, they are not living with each other, they are not in a relationship, they are both apart, they are different. So whatever you think in your mother tongue cannot be absolutely translated into English. But as what? You have to allow yourself to speak English. Say for example, you are going shopping, you are going marketing, you are going to the vegetable shop. Have a talk with yourself in English. In your mind, you're cooking. Have a talk with yourself in English in your mind. You're making mistakes. Okay, fine. 
You are speaking wrong English. Okay, fine, still fine. Keep on speaking with yourself. So, for example, you happen to meet with a huge traffic, and you are in your brain. You are saying, "Not traffic, eh? What a big crowd! That's a crowd. That's a very traffic jam." So try to speak English. No matter what, you have to speak English. Let me tell you, I have a dog. My dog, when it comes to me, I always tell him, "Let's go outside." And it shakes his tail, and he goes outside. I don't speak uh, any other language than English with him. He understands. That's how our, our brain goes. If you keep on trying and trying and trying, your brain will be habituated to it. And if you don't habit your brain, if you don't train your brain, it will be a Herculean task to become a very fluent speaker. So, my dear friends, ally yourself. Always feel you are the you are in the United States of America or you are in the United Kingdom. And you have to speak English, no matter what. And you can be a very good fighter of English, so that you can be a very fluent speaker. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to your own YouTube channel, I am requesting you to subscribe to it for more such videos like this. And like, share, and subscribe.